Y'all, if you can hear my family, I'm sorry. I live in a loud behind house. <laughs> but um, we need to talk. We need to talk. What? How? I have real drama Frankie, right? But how? So guys, if you have read the title, we are going to talk about the drama behind real drama you know because it the plot thickens you know like for my last video i thought i knew well no i don't even remember what i said in my last video but you know i talked a little bit about you know what's going on and since then a lot has happened well a little bit has happened but at the same time we're still all in the dark <laughs> still very much so confused still very much so trying to figure it out but if you're not tired of hearing about real drama, then follow along on this journey with me. I'm pretty sure everyone knows by now, but like, let's just talk about it. I just want to talk about it. I just need to get it off my chest, you know, because it's just, it's just a lot. But I do have some Frankie. And I'm not proud. I'm not proud to tell you why I have Frankie, okay? So we're going to get into it. We're going to get into it. Okay. Well, not why I have Frankie, but like how I got Frankie, okay? So like, okay, real drama um, stock photos release. Frankie was the one I wanted the most, okay? Frankie and Claudine, and then Dracula and then Laguna, right? But now I'm, I'm, I'm happy with just Frankie and Claudine because Dracula and Laguna continue to be elusive, all right? I really wanted Frankie, right? So, okay, let's just get into what happened. So, I think around last week, people started posting screenshots of their orders being canceled. And then in the cancellation email, it said, this item is discontinued, right? So then that sent everybody in a spot. And finally started to feel the way I've been feeling now for the last couple of months. Like, I've, I've already felt this way. So like, I don't know. It's like, I wasn't surprised, you know what I mean? Because I already, I already kind of felt like some crap like this was going to happen for months now and I've been talking about it on my Instagram for like not months now. I don't know. I've been talking about it for a minute now. For a minute. Well no, they were supposed to release October first. So since since October. Yeah. Cause I was like, okay, it's October like seventh and I have yet to see them. Whatever. I've been talking about this for a minute. I've been going through the the stages the stages of grief. The stages of the stages of realizing that if I do want these real drama dolls, I'm gonna have to fight. For them which i mean damn bro it seems like nowadays anything wants to how you're gonna have to fight for it like you want to get a doll from mattel creations mattel creations good luck unless they like actually don't sell out in two minutes good luck <laughs> good luck because i don't have the luck i have yet to get any doll off of mattel creations and every time i don't try they're just like oh yeah that doll was on since from this time to this time, mad long. And then when I do try, it sells out in five minutes. So, you know, I gave up. I gave up. I'm not going to lie to you. I gave up. But yeah, so basically, people's orders were um, saying they were discontinued. Everybody was pissed off. Um, and then, then a tweet came out saying, oh, all that, all that you were hearing was fake. It was scalpers just saying that to drive up sales and that at all. And, um... Well, if that's true, if that was really um, something done by scalpers just to drive up sales. <sighs> Wait, how do you do it? How do you do that little face? The little, I don't freaking know how to do it, but like, I'm not going to lie to you. I fell for it. I fell for it because, like I said before, like Monster High has been playing with my nostalgic emotions for a very long time now. And I just wanted a G1 style doll. Like, I don't understand. I love G3. G3 is cool. I'm glad I have G3. But I wanted a G1 style doll. So, I'm not gonna lie. I guess I kind of fell for the trap. And I bought Frankie for freaking. I can't even get mad at anyone by myself. But yeah, I bought her for like. I bought her 50 bucks, guys. Don't be like me, okay? Because right after I did that. People are all posting photos about how they're finding the real drama dolls in stores, right? So I'm gonna try to put some pictures in. And they're also finding Holiday Dracula. Like this one store in Texas just had like the whole freaking section 
doll section it was just holiday jacket lords like my thing with that though okay so i want to look at it and be like oh hope but i remember when the creep productions came out and i saw everybody finding them in their stores and i was like hope and i was going to every walmart and i never found them never not once got them so as much as i want to sit here and say oh guys don't worry like they're gonna be in a store coming to you soon knowing once they're high maybe now okay we're gonna get to it but like knowing once they're high i highly doubt it so then Monster High, whatever, responded to a tweet and was all like, basically they were like, um, you'll, you'll find them creeping in a store, creeping in a store, whatever. Basically they were like, they're coming soon or whatever. They're not discontinued. But to me, honestly, I feel like that's, I feel like they're lying to us. Not that they're lying to us, but like, I feel like they did discontinue it and then everybody got simultaneously pissed off and they were like oh crap you know what <laughs> we gotta bring these dolls back out because like seriously how can you do g3 right you've got g3 all all the stores but yeah you can't every g1 release is somehow our hands are tied we we released it guys so we released it but yeah everyone didn't get any they don't say nothing about that they don't say nothing about how they're sending it to influencers but yeah everyone else is just like fend for yourself you get one you get one you know and majority of the time i feel like people are gonna have to go to ebay and spend like 50 bucks on a doll that's normally 25 because it's hard to get if you actually want the doll you're gonna have to do that that's ridiculous to me and my homegirls okay i just wonder why like i want to like get into this like i don't know psychology not psychology but like the marketing behind this like okay so so news came out that shadow high is not selling as well as they hoped right and you know with the shadow high series one dolls we kind of in a way expected that because you know as much as us as collectors will adore a shadow high series one let me go grab one okay so i got my heather grayson and you know us as collectors are gonna enjoy and adore the fact that this doll is black and white because it's different but as a parent or a child they might look at this and be like the hell is that you know and they and that's probably what's happening and their prices are a little high you know so i can understand why parents are just like passing up on this you know unfortunately because that means you know <sighs> I don't know so like people are thinking that like series two of shadow high is about to be um canceled it is postponed and uh, you know i thought it was postponed because maybe they were like a little bit gagged by monster high coming back that they wanted to like you know see how that goes or whatever but no like it's because of sales of shadow high and you know then they started bringing it in a little bit more color which at first i was like well, it's supposed to be Shadow High. Why do I have the color? But I understand why they did it. It's because, you know, parents are going to... I feel like parents, they like to see the color in the dolls. So the black and white stuff is kind of hard to sell to them. And I feel like that's kind of why um, Royal Drama added a pop of color into it. You know, kind of like the new um, Shadow High series dolls. But even the, even the first Shadow High dolls had a little bit of color, but not that much. But... You know, eventually they started to add color. This is a series one doll that I added a little pop of color to, Natasha Zima. Oh my gosh, she looks so beautiful. Yeah, I boil washed her hair and then one side stayed crimp and one side went straight. So I really have to fix that, but she's really pretty in this outfit. Oh my gosh. Okay. So yeah, I feel like in a way that might be one of the reasons why they might not want to fully release real drama dolls, like as, as they do with the G3 dolls out of fear of like lack of sales maybe like if only collectors are buying them then i guess that is like kind of like a lack of sales but ooh, sorry to crack my wrist but like i could i could see that but at the same time no at the same time no because that doesn't explain holiday dracula that doesn't explain um the creep reductions it doesn't explain 
the rest of the G1 releases that just never got widely released. So my question is, what was the reason? What was the reason? Why do we have to go into a whole outrage for us to maybe might get these dolls widely released? I don't know. It doesn't make sense to me. Not to compare apples and oranges, but let's compare apples and oranges. Like, I just don't understand how brats can release collector dolls and make them widely available. Yeah, granted, they don't be in stores like that, but everyone who wants that doll can get that doll online. You know what I mean? And it's like, why can't Monster High just do the same? Like, okay, I understand you don't want to ship them out to every Walmart in the tri-state area, but um, then just make them available online for collectors and make a good amount, a good quantity size, a good quantity size for collectors so they can order them and then boom, bada bop. You know, that could be what it is. But to just like, hmm, I'm gonna give it to this store, this random store in Texas or this random store in wherever the hell and just never say anything about all the rest of the stores. Oh, I'm also give it to influencers. And then act like it never happened. Yay! Like, what kind of freaking, what freaking, what marketing strategy is this? Is it like you realize the only goal you're creating? Never mind, child. Never mind. But um, so yeah, that's my reasoning for why I um, I honestly succumbed succumbed to sc scalpers and i'm not proud of it but at the same time it is what it is child i don't know what to say i don't know what to say i just wanted this doll in particular so i did it i don't know if you're gonna hate me now because of it i i understand you know i just want this doll. so yeah i am now going to unbox her and restyle her and <sighs> Try my best. Try my best. All right. Okay, guys. So I just wanted to get into this box and look at it. I absolutely love these boxes, but I just wish they were a little less flimsy because, of course, mine is damaged. Look at that side profile. Because I bought this from a freaking scalper, I was kind of thinking of leaving her in the box just in case they really do become released near me. But since her box is messed up anyways, there's literally no point. Um, I'm not going to shake up her skirt. Well, um, I do love this back art thing though. I do love it. It's amazing. Well, it's not art. It's just a picture. And I can't wait to get her poster out. And I can't wait to have more Monster High stands because I'm literally... I literally don't, don't have any. I literally threw them all away from when I was younger. I'm pretty sure. Or I lost them all. So yeah. I'm just happy to have her. Oh, I'm happy to have her. And let me get her out of the box. Okay, so I finally have Frankie out of the box. I love this poster. It's so cute. I'm definitely putting that in the Rainbow High house. And look at Frankie. Look at Frankie. They're so pretty. Wow. What's it? See, so, yeah, now I'm just gonna go wash her hair. Okay, guys, so I just finished Frankie. Let me just explain what each where each piece came from, I guess. So her earrings are chillaxes, her glasses are Lagunas, GT Laguna, and um she has on Bratz um top and a Bratz um bodysuit. She has skateboard from Gulia, of course, Bratz skirt, and um Rainbow High socks and Rainbow High shoes from Nicole Steele. Okay, guys, so that's it for this video. I'm really happy to have Frankie. And I have two of them, real drama dolls. I even have a, um, a Claudine in the box that I got for my birthday. And, of course, her box is messed up, but at least I have one, you know. 
to have in the box. But, um, yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Who is doing this to me? <laughs>